Hey, what's going on, you guys? It's Nazario, but if you can't pronounce that, just call me Z. So, I did a poll asking everybody what video they want to see next, and it was either between like a Q&A or something or a feeding video. A lot of you voted for the feeding video for <laughs> some virtual reason, so this is going to be a quick one because like it does not take that really, really long per se to take his food. Because right now his mouth is, um, you know, thawing out right now. I have it in a hot bowl of water. Um, I'll probably show it on camera real quick for you and just take it from there. So without further ado, this is the feeding video you guys asked for. All right, there, there it is in some very hot water. I'm not touching it. And yeah, it, it's kind of, it's kind of gross. I know, I, I know, but. Here's another thing I guys, <clears throat> excuse me. Here's another thing I wanna show you guys. There is one hungry snake right there, just staring. And if I put my hand in there, you guys are gonna see a completely different Zebulon from what you guys usually see. So in a second or two, I'm gonna open up this tank and I'm just noticing it was kinda of open. So that could have been bad, but as you guys see, he's kinda of watching everything. So let me see if it's stalled out real quick and we can get the feeding video done already. So, yeah, this is definitely gonna be a quick video. So, yeah. All right, here we go, everybody. I'm kind of holding on to it in an awkward way, but, you know, anything for the video. Hopefully, I don't like, you know, what's the word? I'm flinch, because when Zebulon grabs, he's like super duper strong for like literally no reason. But here we got the mouse. It's an adult sized mouse. I'm pretty sure he can eat rats now, but let's find out. Nice grab from the boy. Okay, so going into the science of it, um, well, not really science, it's just more about body language. So this kind of became just a regular feeding video, but also teaching everybody how to like properly feed their snakes. So, Number one thing you kind of want to do is just, you know, pay attention to the body language. Like, if you notice your snake is really active um, after shedding, chances are they're probably hungry. They want their next meal. And depending on how big your, your snake is, that's, you know, telling you how often you should feed it. Because as you see here, this is only just like a portion of Zebulon because the rest of him is like back there and like, and here in one of his hides, which is also his basking spot. But, you know, that's another thing you gotta look for. Another thing, you know, in terms of feeding is, you know, try not to be scared because they'll definitely know when you're afraid. And sometimes when you're afraid, that means, you know, they're gonna get afraid too. So that's one thing you guys gotta kind of like let go just like flow with it just don't be afraid of the snake just like let it calm down you be calm and just make sure nothing you don't want bit which you shouldn't want to get bit anyway is out of the way first so i'm gonna turn the camera off for a little bit and hopefully we can um see him start swallowing it in a bit so yeah there's his little head down there and well, let me focus it a little bit more. Let me zoom in. Yeah, there he is right there. And we're going to jump it in a minute or two. So see you guys in a second. So, yeah. All right, now that that time lapse is over, and yes, I know it was like pretty super friggin' heinous, Zebulon is kind of back to normal, even though I should kind of get the camera out of his face and like, you know, <laughs> wrap this up pretty soon because he still kind of has that death stare because he kind of knows I've been feeding him two mice for feeding now because I'm trying to like get him 
to decide where he's big enough to start taking uh, small rats. So, yeah, that's another thing. But other than that, like, uh, first things first, before I get to my next point, and, you know, some good tips about feeding your snake is, look at how gorgeous Zebulon is. And, A, chill. Chill. Because I refuse, for the first time, you bite me to be on camera. So let's chill out for a quick second. <laughs> okay, let me calm him down real quick, you guys. Okay, so what I ended up having to do is having to use his feeding tongs. I used a back end, by the way, for this technique, but you can try this with some of your smaller snakes, or you can even use a hook like the one that you guys saw me get at the expo in one of the recent videos. But sometimes what I do is sometimes I just lightly push his head back and kind of, you know, just brush the, you know, kind of rub the bottom of him you know, let him know he doesn't have to be all mean right now and just like chill him out. But um, one of the points I was going to make is like, you got to want to make sure the whole ambient temperature of the tank is pretty chill before you feed your snake. Because um, one thing that I've noticed, Zebulon tends to really like eating whenever his temperature is like spot on and his humidity is right. Even though one thing I've noticed about having boas is that it's not a heat thing, really. It's mainly, um, well, excuse me, one of the main things I've noticed about having a boa is not a heat thing. It's mainly keeping that humidity steady because they live in Central to South America where it's typically 79 to about 80, 89 degrees year round. And... So that's the temperature I tend to keep this tank at. So I don't freak out if it gets 79 to 80. I kind of keep the ambient temperature between that gradient, between like 75 at the lowest to maybe 90 at the highest. Um, and for his humidity, that's where the biggest, you know, power game is, making sure his humidity is correct. I like keeping his humidity at gradients between 70 degree, 70% 70 to almost even 100 at times. Um, lately, his humidity has been sticking around that um, 75, um, 80 percentile range, which isn't bad, but you know, sometimes I just feel more comfortable when it's like up, you know in those higher regions because that's why I know that's how I know it's saturated in there it's mimicking uh, Central American South Central South American uh, rainforest you know the landscape out there because when I was in Panama this past summer I noticed it was super humid so that's the one thing you got to make sure for your snakes um, especially when you're feeding them because temperature environment and ambient Ambi ambiance, excuse me, I cannot talk today, um, really matters whenever you're feeding your animals. But as it seems, Mr. You know, conceited here, I'm kidding, he's really not that conceited. He just really likes the camera, does not want to be on camera right now. He's probably ready for another mouse um, within the next hour or two. So we're going to end the video off here. Um, all right, so I totally lied on the outro. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys him eating his second mouse just for the fun of it. Um, and also in the name of education, because look how cute he is. He's just looking so cute and also terrifying at the same time. But without further ado, might as well get mouse number two out this bowl out here now so he can go home ahead and eat it. So this is going to be fun, really fun, because I'm partially kind of scared right now. So yeah, wait a minute, let me zoom out so you can see me. Yeah, don't mind that, that's just mulch that he pushed out earlier. I mean, not mulch, substrate. Let's just get on with the feed. Lost grip. Hold on. Hold on. Come on, take it. You want to take it? There you go. Woo. I flinched, I know, but it wasn't that bad of a flinch. It, it's just more of its unpredictability. 
but hey, he's getting some mass on him, so yeah. All right, that's the real outro of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll, we'll both catch you guys on the flip side. All praises to the Most High. Comment down below what you guys want to see. Like and comment. Share this video to help us grow this channel more and spread the name of Jesus and awareness to conservation and education to all animals out there. So we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.